Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. It's me, Manny from Manny's Man at Home. And in my channel, I love to share with you simple and delicious recipes that you can share with all of your friends and family. If this sounds like your thing, make sure that you're subscribed. Today I'm gonna to share with you one of the first things that I learned how to bake, a moist and delicious banana bread. It's perfect for any time of the year. Let's look at the ingredients that we're going to need. All right, first of all, when I'm baking, I always like to prep my pans in advance, so I'm gonna butter my pan. Also, when I'm doing this, I like to use cold butter because then I use less. And just make sure you get all of the corners and then put some flour on top of it and toss it all around to make sure that it's well coated. In this way, I can make sure that my cake or my banana bread in this case won't stick to the pan. Next, I need to melt down my butter, so I'm just gonna put it into the microwave and heat it up in 10 to 15 second intervals until it's nice and melted and then allow it to come back to room temperature. And while I prep the rest of my ingredients, I'm preheating my oven to 160 degrees. Into a large bowl, I'm gonna add in all of my dry ingredients. So the flour, baking powder, baking soda. I've got some cinnamon for flavor and the spice of my own addition, some cardamom. It's gonna give us a delicious, delicious flavor. I'm just gonna sift everything through, that's gonna to help to mix it. And then go in with a whisk and just mix it thoroughly. Okay, now we can move on to our wedding ingredients. First, I wanna do it with my bananas. For banana bread, you're best to use all bananas. These are super, super ripe. They're almost falling apart, so pick them up. And this is great because the first thing we need to do is mash them up. Also, as the banana ripens or over ripens, it intensifies its flavor, so it's gonna really come through in the final product, which is what you want. This is banana bread. And just mash them up like this with a fork. Funny story, this is actually a recipe that we already recorded, but due to technical issues, we lost the footage, so make it in again for you. Once my bananas are nice and mashed up, I'm gonna go in with the sugar, which I always find funny is considered wet ingredients, but there you go. I can also go in with my eggs, which are room temperature. I'm gonna start this off and mixing it together. Next, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, or vanilla paste in my case. And finally, my melted butter, which has not come to room temperature. I mix it all really, really well. Next, I'm gonna prep my nuts. I think banana bread should always have some form of nuts. Typically, I would use walnuts, which I have here, but I found that a nice combination of like half walnuts and half pecans gives you delicious, delicious flavors. I'm just gonna break them up with my hands. You can chop this if you want, if you want them super, super fine, but I like the texture that it gives also when you're biting into the soft bread, and then you get a nice and crunchy bit of nut. Oh, it's the best. All right, and then for one final thing, I'm actually gonna toss this in some of our flour mixture. By doing this, we actually have to stop the nuts sinking down right to the bottom of the batter as it's baking, so you will have a nice even distribution of nuts throughout your banana bread. Okay, shake off any excess, and I'm just putting them to the bowl for now, because I'm gonna add them in at the end. Okay, let's put everything together now. I'm just gonna make a little well in the bowl with my dry ingredients, and then I'm gonna dump in all of my wet ingredients. And with a spatula or a wooden spoon you wanna mix, mix it only until it's all well incorporated. You do not want to over mix flour, it's particularly a batter like this because it will be too tough at the end. We're just looking for all of the flour to become moistened. After that, we can stop. Okay, that's as far as we wanna take it. Then we go in with our nuts and just give it another stir around. And once my batter is mixed, I do like to move quickly, I don't like to let the batter sizzling in this stage because the chemical reaction with your baking powder and your baking soda is already taking place. So that's gonna give you all of the rice and all of the airiness to the bread. So get it in the oven as soon as you can. Right, that's it, into the pan. I'm just gonna even this out a little bit. It's kind of a thick batter, so it may not level out on its own. So just give it a bit of a helping hand. Okay, I'm already into the oven for Anywhere between 40 and 60 minutes, I think. We do check it at 40 and see if the toothpick comes out clean. And if it needs a bit longer, just leave it a little bit longer. We'll see you when we're done. Okay, it's time, let's get our banana bread. It looks beautiful and it smells amazing. It ended up baking for close to 60 minutes, so if you just do the cake test, it comes out totally clean. So it's ready. I'm gonna let it cool for a couple of minutes before trying to turn it out, but I'm also gonna take my oven spatula and just go around the edge to help to release it in case anything has stuck. But we buttered on flour so well that I don't think we have any issues. Okay, let me try to uh, unmold my banana bread. Okay, and that's my beautiful banana bread. You could let it cool on a cooling rack, but I won't be able to wait long enough to cut into this, so. 
We'll wait a couple of minutes and then we get a slice. All right, I'm too excited. I can't wait. Let me cut a slice. Okay, I really should have waited a little bit longer for it to cool, but uh, look at how beautiful that looks. It's still steaming. It is so soft and beautifully moist. You can see a nice distribution of all of the nuts that we use. It's just going to be amazing. This is so good. It is a winner every time. The banana flavor is so intense because we use the overripe bananas. And the crunchiness that you get from those nuts just press red. It's just fantastic. This is so good, even if it's burning my mouth as I'm eating it. This is one of my favorite things to bake and to eat. It is so good. It is so simple, perfect for beginners. So make sure that you give it a try today. I love recipes such as this as well because you're using bananas that nobody else will touch. So it is perfect when you're on a budget. If you like this type of cheap and cheerful recipes, make sure that you check my playlist. I will link it over to the side. Leave me a comment below with what you thought of the recipe. Big like, share with all of your friends. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I post stuff like this every week. And if you tried it, post it on Instagram. Make sure you tag me. With that, I'll leave it for this video and enjoy.